Hey guys, it's me, Angie Camper, and today we're talking about something that has been on my mind for weeks and weeks and weeks, and I um, I can't hold it in anymore, and it needs to be said. So, the the conversation I hear a lot. So, um, if you have if you're new to my channel, hi and welcome. I um, was formerly with a company called Lularoe, and I'm now with a new company, and. I wanted to kind of give, this is something I'm experiencing a lot in the realm of independent fashion retailers lately. And a lot of people, so when I signed on with LuLaRoe, there were around 5,000 people, I want to say, coming up on my two year joy anniversary, which would be uh, January of 2016. And it was super exciting and I was so happy to um, find LuLaRoe. I'd never done direct sales before, I thought it'd be really exciting. Um, I always wanted to own my own business, so I was like, I didn't know if I'd want to be a boutique owner, but that was what happened, and it was amazing. So I, I signed on. They're on 5,000 retailers. By the time I ended my time with LuLaRoe, which was August of this year, 2017, there were around 100,000 reps um, or consultants or retailers. I don't know what they call them right now, but retailers that sold LuLaRoe, they were around 100,000. That kind of growth, that quickly, is unsustainable unsustainable on on every every aspect of the word right so from a business standpoint from a technology standpoint from a product standpoint um, from just like a mental like emotional capacity standpoint like it's not that's not sustainable long term so around when I left um, all of a sudden we were seeing people leave in droves and we hadn't seen that before within LuLaRoe. And I've talked before too about how LuLaRoe was kind of the only fashion retail company for a, a while, at least a year. Now the company I'm with now, which is Agnes and Dora, they actually did start at the same time as LuLaRoe, but they're very mo much more um, intentional in their growth. We won't grow nearly as fast and we'll never have as many retailers as they do um, intentionally. We'll, we'll cut it off before that happens. We don't want to get that big. Um, and so actually Ignis and Dora existed, but I didn't know anything else existed. So at the time that I joined, um, the only thing I knew of was LuLaRoe. And so, and I am a middle age, oh, I'm 33, so I guess middle-aged <laughs> mom, and I mean, live in a city, so I'm not quite suburbia, but you know, I have two kids, six, six, I'm, I was the LuLaRoe client, and the LuLaRoe customer is the retailer. I was the LuLaRoe customer, the ideal customer. You know, I, I, I had a job I liked, but I wanted more. Um, I was exactly who would sign on with LuLaRoe. I had some disposable income enough to onboard because it was super expensive or at least access to um, credit cards or whatever I needed to do to get the onboarding package. Not everybody does. Um, I was the like in a box LuLaRoe client because the, the, the retailer is LuLaRoe's client. So I was LuLaRoe's ideal customer. And um, so I did it. And so there was, so how many other people like me? You know, there's tons of us out there. And there wasn't any other companies for us to go to. So we all went to LuLaRoe. Well, then over time, you know, for whatever reason, somebody decides that it's time for their, it's their time with LuLaRoe to end. And either they end and they go to a new company because now there are other companies. There were four, I think, when I was switching companies that I looked at. Um, seriously, like there's a bunch of little ones, but I looked at like three seriously, I would say. Um, and so that was, so I'm not unique, you know, I'm kind of like the every story. Like this probably happened to many, many people. You're buying the clothes, you've never heard of fashion retail direct sales before. It, it didn't exist, right? We couldn't, it didn't exist. So we all thought, how fun would it be to do this? It'd be so exciting. Like that was my story. I, I was buying the clothes and I was like, oh my gosh, I could sell this and make money. How genius is that? I didn't know anybody that sold it. Um, save for a few friends, like nobody had really even heard of the clothes yet. It seemed great. It seemed amazing. Well then, like I said, that growth that happened was unsustainable. It was crazy. I mean, Lura was just an anomaly. Like they just, it was, it was crazy, crazy growth. And with that came growing pains and came things that went wrong. Um, you know, whatever. And so many people left just because it was either, there were, there's lots of reasons. And that's kind of what we're gonna talk about today. I see all these women out here that are saying like, oh my gosh, I just feel like such a failure. If I couldn't do this, I'm such a failure. If I, if I couldn't, if I failed at that, like I can't believe, I don't wanna even tell anybody I feel so bad. And I just wanna say like, you are not a failure at all. You are not a failure. 
Maybe it didn't work out with LuLaRoe, but it's not your fault. Yes, maybe there are things you could have done differently. I see all of this verbiage and it's really, it turns my stomach of people saying, well, if those people that are quitting are, um, they just didn't work hard enough. They didn't work their business. They were lazy. I've seen all of this. And you know what? It's not true. It is 100% not true. I left LuLaRoe because it no longer aligned with my goals and, um, and who, it just didn't align anymore. And so I needed to find a new company to align with. That was my reason. I worked my business. I was a leader with LuLaRoe. I was selling well over six figures. <clears throat> I mean, I was, I was by all intents and purposes a success story and I left. So maybe you are the person that like, it just wasn't what you thought it was gonna be. Maybe it was a lot more work than you thought it was gonna be. Maybe somebody told you it was gonna be easy. Maybe somebody told you, <laughs> maybe <laughs> many people told you that it was gonna be part-time work and you were gonna make a full-time income. That was actually something I got in my box when I started with the row. That was the vision that was sold. And that is not reality at all. And it, it's not reality for any business. And anybody that tells you that is lying through their teeth and just trying to get you to sign on. It's not true. Absolutely not true. Now, that could have meant, meant different things for you. Maybe that's what you thought you were getting into and you don't have the time and the capacity to put the work in to make it worth it. Maybe the system of blind ordering isn't gonna work for you and having to order 30 pieces at a time, that's a lot. If you're just looking to do this part-time, that is a lot to spend and a lot to sell to just have some new product coming in that you don't even know what you're getting. Maybe it wasn't good fit for your family. Maybe it wasn't a good fit for you Overall, maybe you want to do a different direct sales company. I don't know. There are many, many reasons people leave, but you need to stop. If, you, if you're watching this and you're out there telling people that the reason people are leaving is because people failed and they didn't try hard enough, you need to stop saying that. You need to stop saying it. It's rude. It's insulting. And it's demeaning. I worked really hard and I know lots of people that worked really hard that just literally always wasn't a good fit. And I know it's coming from a place of fear. People are watching their downlines leave. LuLaRoe is a multi-level marketing business. And so the people, you know, it's the people who, as high up as you go in the upline, they make money off their downline. That's how it works. And they lead them and they do, I'm, I'm a fan of multi-level marketing. I'm not, not a fan. So I'm not knocking that model. I'm just saying that the people that are telling people um, or saying out into the universe that the reason people are leaving LuLaRoe is because they failed is coming from a place of fear. It is. It's coming from a place of fear that uh, more people will leave, that their own businesses will fail. It's making them insecure about their businesses. It's coming from a place of fear. But you watching that is the person that is leaving, just know that you did not fail. Know that you did what you could. Know that maybe I, I, I left LuLaRoe very well and I know many, many people that did. And it is possible. You don't have to leave super negative. You can leave and just say it was just my time to go. Nobody needs to know your reasons for leaving. They don't. You need to. You don't need to go blast it. You don't need to go blast the road. You can just. There's a season for everything, and your season might be up. But you did not fail. You didn't. And there might be other opportunities for you. There may be a better fit for you. Um, maybe clothing retail isn't your niche. I mean, it's hard. I have other videos about that. That this is an entirely different direct sales system than anything else because it's called inventory loading. You have to buy inventory in order to sell it. So you have to have the, the space in your home, the capacity to be doing that. It's a lot of work. It's not like um, some other companies where maybe you have a catalog or a website where people order through you and you get um, like a percentage of the kickback, but the warehouse of your company ships straight to them. This is not that. It's not. And um, so this, this model might not be for you. Maybe it's another clothing company. I ultimately chose another clothing company and it's been a great fit for me, but maybe that's not it. Maybe this just isn't the model for you. Maybe you just don't like direct sales. Maybe this seemed like a good idea at the time and you just don't like selling to your network. That's okay, but you did not fail. You didn't. And I, I was a leader with LaRoe that I've mentioned and I take that very, very seriously. And I understand the, um, I don't, I, uh, but there are people that will sit, leaders in LuLaRoe that, who are still with them that say they will not help you leave because their job is to help those in the business. Um, 
I take my integrity and my role as a leader in LuLaRoe very seriously. And um, even though I'm not with them anymore, I've told my team and I've told anybody else, if you're watching, I've had people contact me from this YouTube channel and email me to help them. I will help you leave. Message me, email, email me, don't message me, please. Email me or comment below and let's connect. I will help you. I will give you what I know. I don't know it anymore because I'm not with the world, but I will give you what I did. I will give you emails. I will give you um, processes as I know them because I think that that's really important. I think we need to help people leave well to protect the brand of Lularo, the people that are still trying to stay. I have many, many friends and teammates and people who are trying to continue their little businesses and I wish them nothing but success. I hope they have a gangbuster 2018 and I'm rooting for them. Um, however, if it isn't your time anymore and you can't find anybody to help you, it just, it makes me really, really sad that women invested all this money and can't find a point to leave. That like literally breaks my heart. Um, and I feel like it gives direct sales a bad name and all of us fashion retailers bad name. Um, so I will help you. So if you are trying to leave LuLaRoe and you um, don't know what to do and you're really overwhelmed and scared, that was me. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know any other leaders that had left um, at the time that I did. I, I had no idea what I was doing. And so I've made it a mission to help people that want to leave and um, at least just give you some support and tell you that you're not alone, you're not a failure, you are amazing and you did the best you could with what you had at the time that you knew it. You probably did lots of research. You didn't know what was gonna change within LuLaRoe. Like any other company, things change and it just no longer aligns with who you are and your goals. You are not a failure. You're not. So if you are somebody that's looking and needs some help and some support, if you're looking to leave LuLaRoe and um, can't find that support anywhere, please email me and I will help you um, the best I can. Um, nobody should have to do it alone and I know it's really scary and there's a lot of shame and there's just, you have a lot of feelings with it and um, I'm here to break that off of you and tell you you are amazing and um, you're going to be fine and I will help you and I will do what I can. Thanks guys.